Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop and I just installed the covers for my stepper motors. I just took some 8 inch plexiglass polycarbonate and folded it over a spare stepper motor and then I just siliconed it on and I sort of bent the end down here so that you can give it like a drip edge and looks like it's uh, keeping them nice and dry. So I was just running some tests. Um, I've been doing a little bit of milling, just kind of seeing how well it works, checking out the coolant flow to make sure that it is flowing fairly well. Uh, it seems to be okay at the moment. Uh, I do have a, a little low spot right here, but for the most part, it drains fairly well. I did have some drips, but uh, I corrected that problem by installing a drip edge up under the screen, and it's working really well. So I made these stepper motor covers yesterday. So let's take a look and see how I did that. All right, well, I have an eighth inch piece of polycarbonate here and I'm just scoring it with the utility knife. Uh, you need to score it fairly well and then it'll just kind of break in, uh, cleanly over the edge of the bench here. I needed two pieces for the X and the Y axis and again you can see it breaks pretty cleanly. Now these pieces are 5 inches wide by 12 inches long and I just marked it in the center and then I'm just going to clamp it to a spare NEMA 34 stepper motor here so that I can uh, form it over the edge. I'm using a butane torch here but you could use um, propane and you just want to heat it on the bend line. Uh, take your time and go slow and once you get it bent, uh, once it starts to form and get bent around the stepper motor just hold it in place until it kind of cools down and it'll stay. And you can move on to the next side. Um, again, heat it evenly and take your time. You can see here that once it gets warm enough, it'll kind of start to just form on its own, and then you know it's ready. And that's it, and now we can move on, and we can do uh, the other one. Alright, so I have a 5 inch by 12 inch piece of 1 8 inch plexiglass polycarbonate. And all I'm going to do is just heat it up and form it around my NEMA 34. So I'm going to heat both sides and then I'll stand it up and you can see it will start to bend on its own and that's when it's ready. Just got a little torch here. You can use propane. You want to stay a couple inches away because you don't want it to burn. You just want to heat it up where you want it to uh, form. I have to kind of see if I can do this. So you can see it. See it starting to kind of fall. Gonna just bend it down.
you kind of pull it a little bit it'll form a nice 90 degree angle Kind of pull it in that direction a little bit. Take a piece of ice or wet rag, cool it off. You can see it formed a nice 90 degree there. And now we'll just do this other side. Pretty tight. And then what I'll do, I'll just put a bead of caulk around these edges, stick it over it, and that should keep any water or coolant off the stepper loader. Okay, I've just put a little bend right here in the back, and this is just going to be like a drip edge. In case any coolant that falls on top of the cover here, it'll just drip off the end here. As you can see. Just see it's got just a slight bend here and that'll just keep it let it drip right there all right let's take it over to the meal and we'll check the fit all right well the covers fit on really nice and you can see it sticks past the motor a little bit and then we have that drip edge about a maybe three quarters of an inch and then same for my x-axis here and it hangs down way below the bottom of the mount and also way below the bottom of the motor there so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a bead of caulk right here and here and here then i'll just slide it down over there and that should keep it sealed up and hopefully prevent uh, anything from getting on the stepper motor. At least that's the plan. It's not going to take a, month, a lot, I don't think. And I'm trying to keep it away from the mount. Like so. And I'll just kind of spread it apart, put it over, and set it down.
that should seal it up pretty good I really just want to keep liquid from getting on the top of the motor there so now I'll just do the same thing for the X and we'll be done Hopefully, that'll work. Got a little more than I wanted to in there, but it's not covering my screws, so it should be good. And you can see there's plenty of space right in here, and this will just drip down. All right, so those are the stepper motor covers. And I'm still... Uh, Piddling around with the mill, as you can see, I've added a shield here to keep chips off of the dovetails. And that's really all that was needed for this. I decided to just kind of go with the shield instead of the uh, neoprene like I did in the back. I've I have been cutting quite a bit of chips and I'm fixing to actually start on making another set of complete Precision Matthews mounts. So the plan is for me to use the Precision Matthews to make mounts for itself. Um, I'm actually doing another set for Chad and then that way I know that my drawings match at least two machines. And once I get finished with those mounts, I will make my models and drawings available. Alright, well you can see they turned out fairly well. Pretty simple, easy to do. Hopefully they will keep all the coolant off the stepper motors. I've, so far they're doing pretty good. I think they'll be alright. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.